for this run, start your um, inventor program with English units and uh, then start with a uh, new sketch on XZ plane. Select the XZ plane as a work plane and draw a circle. The circle has diameter of two inches. You may access your assignment sheet from Canvas. And as you see on that assignment sheet, the diameter is two inches, radius is one. And now we are going to go to rectangle and create a rectangle. Uh, using the rectangle, before you use the rectangle, select the isometric view so you can see the orientation the direction that you're going on rectangle. So this way you have longer side of the triangle parallel to x-axis. So other side would be parallel to y-axis. So now we're going to add relations, tangent relations for both sides. <clears throat> now we still have two dimensions missing on this one because I don't have this dimension here, which is 2.5 happens to be exactly 2.5, if oh, actually it's 2.25, so it should be 2.5, and accept that. Let me go back to the top view and see what is missing. We have one dimension is still needed here, and go to the tangent, I just make sure that you have tangencies, which was not selected first time. Now we can trim these lines if you like, so you have only one closed profile. Okay, that one, because it's dimension, I don't have to trim. Uh, if you trim, you would lose the constraint. You can add the relations, but you can leave him that line there is okay. So finish the sketch, extrude. You need to select both of them because there are two closed profiles now. And the height is 0 0.35. 0 0.35 is the height. And we finish this section by section. Okay. <clears throat> now this face would be our work plane. We redraw that circle again with the same diameter, which you can snap to the corner if you like, and should be automatically gives you the fully constraint because I define the center to be origin and the Diameter or radius would be connected to this corner. Finish the sketch, extrude with 0.6 height. And taper angle has to be calculated. In this case, we do know the height, we do know the width, and you can use the right triangle formula uh, and calculate that uh, taper angle, which would become very close to be 32. And you type the negative number, otherwise, would be opposite directions. So you make sure that you have negative 32 degrees. So that's the method we, we use for uh, creating this piece by extrude method. Another method we're going to look into is the loft method. For that, we are going to start a new process by uh, suppressing this extrude that we have. Extrude 2 would be suppressed. So then we go to that uh, plane, offset from plane. We can create new plane starting from this face going 0.6 in upper directions. So this plane, work plane 1, becomes our new sketch plane. New sketch on that one, and we will draw another circle. This way, you don't need to calculate your taper angle, just to exactly that size is given to us on that handout sheet that you have this, which is the diameter of that circle is going to be. Let me check that, make sure that I have the right diameter here is 1.25. So 1.25. So that's already located on 
uh, 0.6 higher than this phase and with diameter 1.5. So we need to finish this sketch. We need to go back to this phase and draw another circle. New sketch. Make a sketch uh, on this plane. Another circle which has to be created on this face and that is going to be again same thing two inches and finish a sketch so we have two sketches loft requires minimum of two sketches so we will go to select the loft tool and that is located under this ribbon here you select the loft and you don't have to change anything in this case all default settings are fine just select the two circles apply okay <clears throat> you can make this plane to be invisible if you like the right click and say visibility off so now you have that and now we have those two created now the last thing we want to do is to create this uh, on this face uh, we create the slot and that would be using the two point slot I'm using that and let's go check the size of the slots which is supposed to be uh, R.25 there are two of them both are R.25 radius of 0.25 spacing is 0.75 and located 0.625 from this edge so add dimensions 0.25 location from the right side is 0.6 and 0.625 let's add those two dimensions so make sure that it's going inside and add dimensions between edge and the center of this arc which would be 0.6 and from this edge to the center would be 0.625 oh let me double check that make sure i did that one is from the center of the arc so let's go back to uh, cancel this operation uh, you could do that too but the way this dimension is given uh, I'm going to use that same technique by going to from the edge edge to the center of this arc is 0 0.625 and the location between this center and this center is 0.75 once you have those you finish the sketch and cut for this one you uh, extrude a cut through all oops I did not select them the directions through all okay we will add the fillets on the corners so for that we do have two fillets on the corners each one is 0 0.25 0 0.25 add fillet to other section as well and cancel <laughs> um, one more thing is left is the hole um, what happens if you create this hole on the top view once I suppress this one that hole would be suppressed as well we want to avoid that this is important factor that you create that hole on on the plane not to be dependent to any feature so we will two ways we can do that we can do either on the bottom face or on the X Z plane that would be safer way to do that under the plane X Z plane X um, XZ plane select as a work plane and new sketch on the plane of course you need to use the circle tool 
not the whole. I need to create a circle. And because I'm on the bottom of the uh, piece and you cannot see the drawing, but that exists there. If you want to see that, you may want to check that view style and then change the wireframe. As you notice, that circle is there. <coughs> Go to the dimension and add that dimension, which is 1.25. That's the hole that we are creating, uh, 0.75 rather. 0.75 is the hole that we are creating here. So that, and then finish sketch, extrude cut, cut through all. And direction is going in this time in the right directions. <clears throat> Make sure you say cut through all. And back to the view, back to the shaded with edge. That concludes your drawing. Now, if you suppress this and unsuppress the other one, you have both of them on. Need to suppress. Uh, this one is, before we do that, we need to suppress loft. Now you have both suppressed. As you see, the hole exists. If I created that hole on the top, uh, top of this uh, cylinder, that would be also suppressed. So we want to avoid that. So make sure that the circle, this hole is created on the bottom view. So you can unsuppress each one and measure your mass for both cases and compare the result. So I'm going to unsuppress the first one now. So you have, uh, is the best to rename those so you know which one is which. I will, rather than extrude one, you may want to rename that uh, to loft option and extrude option. So this way, you know which one is uh, right. Uh, suppression. Okay, that concludes our project for this exercise.